good evening friends welcome to the channel today i'm in beautiful washington dc and uh, i'm out tonight just hanging out we're going to do a little bit of walk around and uh, maybe we can look at some of the cool monuments and memorials that's in the area so uh stick around let's go see what we can check out tonight as you see right here we're looking back at the potomac as the sun is starting to set on dc over there's the the arlington cemetery right across the river there and uh it's really a beautiful night a lot of people out tonight a lot of movement and uh so uh i'm making my way right now up the sidewalk and right here in front of me through the trees is actually the lincoln memorial so uh, that's going to be the first monument we're going to go check out and uh should be pretty cool might be a few people up there tonight it looked pretty crowded when we was looking for a parking place. All right, guys, I made it up here to the Lincoln Memorial. And uh, I thought I would uh, also show you what I'm looking at right here in front of me. This is uh, it's pretty beautiful. It's the reflecting pool and the uh, monument and the Capitol build building, like all in one shot. So uh, let's, check it, let's check that out real quick. And there it is. That's the view. You can see the reflecting pool, you have the monument, and then way down here at the end, you can see the U.S. Capitol building. I try to zoom in the best I can. Sorry if it gets a little blurry, fellas and gals. But uh, it's quite interesting. There's a lot of people out here tonight. It's very busy, but it's beautiful. The weather is amazing. Look at that sky. It is gorgeous. And there is the Lincoln Memorial. And I'll walk up there here in a second and we will go check out old Honest Dave setting up in there like a boss. <laughs> what a beautiful night. All right, let's move forward and uh, see what we can see. Another good shot of the reflecting pool. The monument you can just barely see a shimmer of the capitol building we can turn around and now we're at the footsteps of the lincoln memorial and uh this thing is absolutely unbelievable and up here at the top I, it's, it's getting so late i know the, but it's got all the states represented around you can see delaware pennsylvania new jersey georgia connecticut massachusetts maryland and south carolina my home state is on around the back side of the corner there in north carolina all right let's uh, move on up the way here do a little bit of cardio i need to do some cardio after all that food i ate a while ago oh my gosh that's one thing about DC. There is no shortage of good healthy food. <laughs> That's a joke. I didn't eat healthy at all. I ate a fried chicken sandwich with some uh, cheese fries with bacon on it. Let's see what kind of bit, what kind of view we have. Look at that. Very nice. Let's walk through here. Oh, and there it is. temple as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the union the memory of abraham lincoln is enshrined forever pretty awesome
So just to give you some bearings, when you come in and you look at the Lincoln Memorial, he stands there and you pan off to your left, you have this writing up here on the wall. This writing is actually the Gettysburg Address. This is what Lincoln, the address he gave right after the big battle at Gettysburg. So just all, some people overlook that when they come up here because they just look at the statue. But this is actually, you know, where he said four score and seven years ago. So just always remember to check that out when you come here because it's actually a, a cool piece of uh, history right here on the wall. Sorry about that little glitch here. Some really low light. So uh, I'm going to get out of here because it's just getting a little bit too dark to film. So uh, let's move it on. All right, guys, we're going to exit out of the Lincoln Memorial. And what a shot is that? Is that not beautiful? Look at that, re that reflection in the water of the Washington Monument, how it just glows. It is beautiful tonight. Okay, friends, we made it down here to the wall. This here is the entrance. Right here in front of the entrance, you actually have these books where you can look up people's names if you know somebody was in the Vietnam War. And uh, you can check it out. This here is Names of the Fallen. So this here would be people that fought in the war and that was deceased. And uh, it kind of gives you an idea of like how the walls laid out. You got the east and the west, 1959, and it goes this way, 59 to 68. And then on it, and you go, you go back to this end. You pick up the 68 and go to 75 right here in the middle. Which I don't really know the reason why they did it like that. Um, you know. But, oh well, it is what it is. So we'll take a little walk down through here and uh, try to do the best we can with the low light. But I think, you know, coming down here at night is really awesome just because the way it's illuminated and, uh, you know, the camera obviously probably is not gonna do it justice. But you can see right here where we, where we started. And this here's all the people's names that uh, died in the Vietnam War. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing to come down here and, uh, and see this, you know, it's beautiful. But it, it actually goes all the way down the hill and that's the bottom, then it comes all the way back up the hill a bit there. So if you just think about that, I mean, just look at all these names, all these people that fought in that war and gave their life. Try not to talk too much down here because you know everybody's kind of giving their respect. And I know it's dark and you can't see nothing, but it's not about just seeing and reading all these names. It's just the the feeling that you get when you walk down here. It's part of the American history, you know. I think it's great this was here, you know, just to, you know, remind people to don't forget about your past because it's very important to your future. It's a good lesson. See, we got some American flags down here. find that often when you come here 
you'll see roses and flowers all times of year too it never really matters when it is So as you start to exit out of the Vietnam Memorial, you have another nice shot of the heart of the city, pretty much, you know, the Washington Monument. It's very nice, very pretty. So I'm actually coming up on uh, a monument right now that uh, actually for me, it's my first time ever seeing it. Last time I was here, they was just building it. And that was many, many years ago. So uh, this here is actually the World War II monument. So uh, let's take a little walk down the path and um, see what this thing looks like. Atlantic up there. Take a little walk in. Got, I guess you got all the states this way. Got Texas, Michigan. going to give it a good pan around. Look at that water. Wow. Once again, uh, I really don't think video does this place any justice, just how spectacular this looks and we can come over here and we got all the states on the outside States and I guess territories, because right here is Puerto Rico, the Philippines, and the Virgin Islands. Yeah, there's quite a bit of activity out here tonight. This is uh, this is another hot spot for sure. Gorgeous, it's beautiful. Look at that money shot, that's beautiful with the light kind of pointing up, cascading up in the air onto the monument. Beautiful, just beautiful. What a spectacular evening here in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. And then look at that shot. We have Lincoln's Monument where we were just visiting a few minutes ago. So, 
Also, I did want to walk over here to this wall as you look back at the Lincoln Memorial. Right here on this side, they fought together as brother in arms. They died together and now they sleep side by side. To them, we have a solemn obligation. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, which I think is the uh, same Nimitz that they, they named the aircraft carrier after that was uh, very popular. And then on this side, we have Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy no matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people and their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. President Franklin Roosevelt. That's pretty awesome. Those words had meaning for sure. the American Samoa. It's just amazing, World War II, how many countries and territories that involved. You got Guam, Hawaii, of course the District of Columbia, which is Washington, D.C. Got you New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, Nebraska, and West Virginia, Oregon, we got California up here, Iowa, great state of Florida. Arkansas, Maine, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Rhode Island, New York, New Hampshire, we have Maryland, <laughs> Connecticut, New Jersey. I still got pretty good eyes, I can read that, so. <laughs> in Delaware and we have a little bit more writing on the wall our debt to the heroic men and valiant women in the service of our country can never be repaid they have earned our undying gratitude America will never forget their sacrifice President Harry S. Truman We got us a waterfall here. Over here, we got the price of freedom. Sorry for the glare, guys. Freedom Wall holds 4,048 gold stars. Each gold star represents 100 American service personnel who died or remain missing in the war. The 405,399 American dead and missing from World War II are second only to the loss of more than 620,000 Americans during the, our Civil War. So, aha. Now I know what all these stars means over here. All those stars. All right, friends, this will uh, pretty much conclude today's video. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please do so if you would like, if you enjoyed the content, that is. So uh, 
I had a good time walking around Washington this evening, looking at some of the monuments, and uh, I was happy to share all this with you. And I like documenting stuff like this for you know when I go and do my little travels and stuff. So uh, until next time, bye bye, and I will see y'all later on the next Hitchhiking Yeti.